Three questions to consider before you implement a lead generation strategy or hire an agency to help you with your lead generation program. Uh, these are some of the important and critical questions you should be asking yourself uh, before you embark on a lead generation program. The first question you should ask yourself is what does your target market look like? You have to have a good understanding of a target market. Who is your ideal customer profile? Can you define how they, what they look like in terms of the company size, the persona, the job function they fill within those organizations and the typical business challenges that they're trying to solve with the product or service that you have to, help, that you have to offer. Understanding this is a critical part of a lead generation program. If you don't have a good understanding of your target persona and your ideal customer profile, you're going to be wasting a lot of time and resource on the wrong tactics and it would not produce the kind of ROI that you're looking for. Part of defining that target persona is also understanding what a marketing qualified lead versus a sales qualified lead looks like. What are some of the actions they might perform on your website, uh, whether they're looking on certain services pages, maybe looking at some of the specific content assets, um, maybe watching some of your case studies, uh, video testimonials, or reading some long form content. What indications they give that warrants whether or not they are sales qualified versus marketing qualified. So as part of that process of defining what that ideal customer profile is also understanding what triggers, uh, what certain actions that they will be performing uh, through that sales process that would um, warrant them to be uh, marketing qualified versus sales qualified. The next question you need to ask yourself before you embark on a lead generation program is what are the specific target goals that you have with regards to the number of leads you're generating and the type of leads, whether it be marketing qualified or sales qualified. If you don't have a specific baseline where you're starting from or a benchmark of what your campaigns have performed in the past or some specific targets of what you want to hit with regards to your, your revenue goals and the number of leads you need to have in the pipeline uh, to reach those uh, sales ready opportunities produced for your sales team and, and based on your close ratio and things of that nature, you need to have that, those specific targets in mind before you uh, build your lead generation program. This is going to help you really tar track from the very get-go how effective your campaigns are and whether or not you're on target to reach the specific goals. If you just have some vague goals in terms of, oh, we need, we need more leads, but it's not going to be sufficient to know whether or not your initiative is actually effective and whether or not you're reaching, uh, whether or not you will reach your ultimate target, which is revenue uh, achieved. The last, but it's not necessarily a final question, is your follow-up strategy. You need to ask yourself, what kind of follow-up strategy do we have in place once we generate those leads? This is extremely important because once you understand your uh, lead generation efforts and you know what the specific goals are and you ultimately um, have some leads generated, if you don't have a full thought out lead, uh, lead nurture plan in place uh, in terms of following up with these leads, uh, you could be like, wasting a lot of money and efforts on generating leads that may or may not convert into any, any business. Uh, for example, I've seen a lot of companies that exhibit at trade shows spend tons and tons of dollars both on the cost of the trade show booth itself as well as flying their internal resources that are very, very senior folks that are in the sales engineering roles and things of that nature. They go to these shows, spend almost a week um, uh, in the cost of travel, the hotels as well as uh, food and all those things that goes into acquiring those uh, leads at those shows is extremely expensive to acquire, acquire those leads, but then they do a very, very poor job of follow through. So irregardless of the medium by which you generated those leads, if you don't have a good strategy in place to nurture those leads, it doesn't matter how many leads you've gotten, it is not gonna do any good for you. So one of the key things you need to keep in mind and the question that you need to be asking, what systems and process do we have in place? Do we have a marketing automation technology? Are we gonna be using our internal sales folks, maybe SDRs or business development reps who are gonna make those phone calls? Are we gonna send some direct mail pieces? What are we gonna do proactively to make sure we're staying top of mind and staying in front of these prospects or leads that we generated? Uh, so those are some key questions you need to be asking yourself as part of your lead generation efforts. So to make sure your efforts are not going wasted and that you're producing the maximum ROI that your organization reach the potential that it has. Hopefully these tips are 
uh, useful for you. And uh, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe to our channel.